All right, let's go before we get in trouble. Hey, internets! Happy Dogmas Day 16. Uh, it's dark outside, and I'm in my pajamas because I realized after I sat down to edit this that I never filmed an introduction clip. So, welcome to the vlog. Roll the footage! You think so? Are they producing it? They're batching it today? It's snowing, it's snowing! We're in the parking lot, we're gonna spin around a bit. Cause we're crazy. Having a crazy Friday night, everybody. Wow! <laughs> All right, let's go before we get in trouble. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm sitting here in my snow attire. Phoenix! And I was thinking like maybe it'd be a good time to answer some of your questions. You guys generally have a lot of questions and that's awesome. So I thought I would do a little rendition of frequently, the questions I get asked a lot about the dogs um, and I'd answer some of them for you today. Why don't you sit girl, sit, sit. Good girl, we're so good, we're sitting. So the first one is, how old are Phoenix and Falcon? Phoenix is eight. She turned eight in November, that's my hair. And Falcon we think is three, we're not really sure. Um, when we first met her, they said she was 10 months. She was pretty much, what are you eating? She's the same size as she is now. So I'm thinking like, that's probably accurate. I know when Phoenix was 10 months old, she was already pretty tall, but definitely skinnier and her fur wasn't like a full, like her fur is now, it wasn't like adult doggy fur. So the next one is, where did I get Phoenix and Falcon from? So Phoenix is actually from a breeder. They bred golden retrievers mostly and also huskies. Um, she was the last one of her litter to get adopted. She was about 10 weeks old when I got her. And Falcon we got from a rescue um, around us that specializes in Siberian Huskies. The thing that's so sad is that these dogs are so pretty and they're majestic. Like, hey, look at that. <laughs> but a lot of people don't realize like how much work it takes to raise them. So a lot of them end up in shelters, which kind of sucks. It was rough because when we got Falcon for the first time, she had a food guarding issue. She clearly had had to fight for her food before. And also she didn't, she was like not into going in the crate, even though it's like Phoenix's favorite place ever. She just like probably got reminded of all the time she had been locked up before. So that was just not her favorite. Um, but I don't know. I mean, we worked it out. We, we've done a lot with her and She's really good with food now, only with Phoenix though. Like she, she respects Phoenix, um, but we still have to really be careful when there's other dogs around and there's like food or treats or whatever, cause she can get very possessive of it. And that's not cool. So the next question I get asked a lot is, why did you name your son Tiny? So Tiny is not actually his name. It's just his nickname. When I was pregnant with him, we didn't want to know if he was a boy or a girl. We just were like, let's be surprised. And it was a really, like, it's, it's really up to you. Like, some people want to know, some people don't want to know. And both is cool, it doesn't matter. But we didn't know what to call him when he was in there because, you know, we didn't know if it was a he or a she or whatever. So we just called him Tiny because, you know, he was a tiny human. Let's see, what's the next question we get asked all the time? I get asked a lot, like, I live in a warm place whatever the person gives an example or whatever, should I get a Husky? And honestly, for me, like, that's not for me to answer. That's for you to answer. It's a lot of responsibility, but Huskies are versatile. They can adapt 
to whatever climates, you just really have to pay attention to them. So, oh my gosh, Falcon. Good job. I've known people who've had Huskies that live in Florida or Mexico or somewhere that doesn't have any snow and it's very warm and the Husky like, you know, is fine and happy and thrives. They just need to make sure that they get a lot of water, they have air conditioning. Oh, oh Falcon. <laughs> and that's it for FAQ. Usually those are the most uh, comments I get, but my favorites are when people tell me, oh, I have a Husky, and then whatever funny story their dog did that day. Um, I get a lot of like escape stories. I get a lot of like dogs who eat everything stories. So it's pretty fun. I like you guys, you're awesome. Thanks for leaving comments, thanks for asking questions, and thanks for being all around amazing subscribers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My butt's really cold. Bye!